In a recent episode of BBC's Antiques Road Trip, experts Izzy Balmer and David Arbour travelled around Fife, Berkshire searching for some unique and profitable antiques. Whilst on their travels, Izzy fell in love with a blue tobacco pot, but her hopes were crushed when she realised it had been broken in the past. Despite her cautiousness, she took the gamble, which paid off, and she ended up making an impressive profit from it. After taking a look around the antique shop, Izzy spotted the dark blue pot at the back of a glass cabinet. However, her excitement soon turned into trepidation when she realized it had been broken in the past. She explained, I was really excited when I saw this, and now, am really disappointed, so this is probably a tobacco jar, although you could use it as a tea caddy or a biscuit barrel. We've got this Humpty Dumpty type figure on the top smoking a pipe and holding a mug there, and then it's got this lovely silver rim. So it's London, 1920, and we have here the Royal Dolton stamp. Now, the reason I was excited is firstly, because I, absolutely flipping love that color, isn't it stunning? But mostly because, actually, I haven't ever seen a Dolton tobacco jar quite like this, now the disappointment comes because immediately I can see Humpty Dumpty has been off the top of this. It's obviously been dropped and smashed, and it's just such a shame because it was probably in pristine condition, quite a good rare item. It's priced at £145, now everything is telling me that that is too much money for this being a broken item. But Terry's just something about it, and I'm hoping that someone else thinks the same too, she expressed. Finalizing her decision, Izzy found the shop assistant Bex where she tried to bargain a deal for the jar, which she ended up buying for £90. When it came to the auction of the jar, both Izzy and David were anxious about how well it would do, with David commenting, Humpty Dumpty with the silver rim, that is really rare. The auctioneer started the bid off at £45, to which it immediately went up to £50 as bidding commenced through the internet. Antiques Road Trips Natasha Raskin Sharp Brands Coast Hara Beast, Watch, 55. 60 for you? 60, thank you. The internet and 70? 70 is bid, 75. Internet, we need 75? Both David and Izzy were following along anxiously before David commented, Um, interesting feeling nervous, Izzy shouted, Oh, come on. The auctioneer continued, 80 pounds online. 85 is the bid. Online at 90. 95 is next. Izzy began chanting, Come on. Come on, come on, come on. As the price of the item began to climb, David turned to his competition and simply said, Izzy. The auctioneer ended the bid and finalized, 240 is bid. At 240 pounds, I will sell, are we all done? At £240, gavels up, fair warning, sold. David clapped for Izzy's win, and she teased, I'm really pleased, thank you, I quite like being in your position, these profits are quite a nice feeling. At the beginning of the day, David started with £438. 98 and made a small profit ending him on £446. 14. Izzy started with 283 pounds. 26. And following her successful tobacco pot sale, it catapulted her closely behind David at 433 pounds. 82. Antiques Road Trip is available to watch on BBC iPlayer.